check. One, two, one, two.
All right, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Wildwood High School, live on the Wildwood Public Schools YouTube page. I'm Brian Kniff, Dave Perro handling the video and the production behind the scenes. We're back at it for another South Jersey Group 1 playoff doubleheader, this time in the second round. Wildwood is playing Clayton in the girls' game here. The boys' game will be coming up right around 6 o'clock. Clayton being introduced now with their starters. And they've got one of the better players around in Raynell Blocker, a sophomore forward. They're led by her. She's number 15. She averages almost 18 a game and almost nine rebounds. And she also has 93 steals. Their other starters are junior Jordan Jones, a sophomore Ava Delaney, a freshman DeAndrea Simon, and another sophomore in Rosalina Pereira. Clayton got here by virtue of a 45-38 win over Audubon in the opening round. They are the seven seed here in South Jersey Group 1. Wildwood's the two seed. They won easily over Paulsboro in the opening round. That was uh, by the score of 86 to 37. Wildwood starters at the guard positions, Macy McCracken and Sophia Wilbur. They are sophomores along with Cadence Oakley, a senior. Sanaya Hills, a junior. Maya Benichu, a senior, are the forwards. McCracken leads Wildwood at 22 and a half a game, and she became just the second sophomore in school history to score her 1,000th career point. And she did that in the last game against Paulsboro. These two teams did meet twice during the regular season as members of the Tri-County Conference. Wildwood won both rather comfortably. They won 61-36 at Clayton and then 65-32 at home. See out on the court, that's Clayton in gold. Dark blue numbers, white trim. Wildwood in white with the maroon numbers and gray trim. Officials are Ron Bukunowitz, Joe Fustner, and Jordan Davis. It'll be Jordan Jones for Clayton. You can see Wildwood little undersized in this game. Clayton does have some nice size. Jordan Jones will jump it up against Sanaya Hills. And we are just about underway here, round two of the South Jersey Group 1 tournament. Ball's in the air. Tip is controlled by Clayton. That's actually not a violation, but yeah, it's not a violation because the ball hit the floor. The jumper, the, the jumper is actually allowed to field that ball after the ball hits the floor. But they called a violation on Clayton. And Wildwood will have possession of the basketball. So after a short delay, we're ready to go. Clayton comes out in man-to-man -man defense. Wilbur goes to the right. McCracken to Benichu, looking in the post. Now drives right to the basket, no good but a foul. Maya Benichu will get two shots. So Wildwood with an opportunity to score right off its first possession. First free throw's no good. Second one is good. So it's one nothing Wildwood. Delaney taking it up the right side, goes into the corner. Driving is Pereira. Got it down low. Layup was missed. Second layup was missed. And Sanaya Hills has the rebound. That was Jordan Jones missing both shots. McCracken with it, goes to Sophia Wilbur over to Benichu. Oakley. Hands off to Wilbur. Oakley in the post to Hills. Drop step move, off the glass and good. So a 3-0 start for Wildwood. 
And they are pressing in the full court. This ball was tipped and then out of bounds. Great play by Cadence Oakley. Tipped it off of Blocker's fingers. Blocker could not then keep it in bounds. They get it to McCracken right off the inbound. The layup is good. 5 nothing start for Wildwood. Clayton having trouble getting it in. Now they finally throw it deep, and losing it out of bounds is DeAndrea Simon. A good defensive start for Wildwood here. They lead 5 nothing. 6.50 to go first quarter. Wilbur to Benichu. To a curling McCracken. Open for three. In and out. Rebound by Blocker. Delaney, Pereira on the left wing. Delaney driving right, off the rim no good, rebound McCracken. She's gonna try to push for Wildwood. McCracken to the basket, beats everyone down the floor and lays it in. Timeout Clayton, and it's seven nothing Wildwood, 6-12 to go first quarter. So a good start by Wildwood, particularly defensively. As uh, Clayton with uh, three early turnovers. Plus a couple of, plus a few missed shots. Winner of this game will play number six, Gateway, or number three, Palmyra. That game being played a little bit later today. And if Wildwood wins it, they'll play at home. If Clayton wins, they'll be on the road to either of those teams. Seven nothing, Wildwood in the lead. Delaney pushing, kicks to Pereira. In the post, they pass across. Layup by Jordan Jones, no good. And the rebound to Wildwood. Wilbur, great pass to Hills. Layup is good. Lobbed it right over the defender onto the block to Hills. And we're going to have a double dribble violation against Delaney on the far side there. They'll give Wildwood another possession. Benichu in the backcourt to McCracken. And she'll initiate the offense here. Takes it right. Goes right to the basket. There was no help side, but she missed the layup. Was on her offhand. McCracken steals it from behind. Steps in, bounces in. A traveling violation on McCracken. I think Hills was expecting McCracken to take that shot. McCracken wanted to pass it. And... She shuffled her feet before letting go of the pass. Good call by the official. Clayton having trouble getting it in. And we have another timeout by Clayton. So Clayton's used. Two timeouts. In the first three and a half minutes of this game. Five and a half to go in the first quarter. It's Wildwood ahead 9-0. Clayton to inbound. And they need to get something going offensively. They've called these timeouts, trying to do a couple different things against this Wildwood pressure. They throw it middle of the floor to Delaney. And now it's Pereira. Rosa Pereira driving left. Good hedge by Sanaya Hills. We have a foul call, though. Hills hedged a little too far and bumped her to the ground.
Clayton to inbound. Right into the post. And DeAndre Simon will go to the line for two shots here. First one is good. Simon's just a freshman. Regular starter for Clayton. Second free throw is long, rebound McCracken. Pushes through the middle of the floor, stops, goes over to Benichu. Oakley, baseline jumper, air ball. Rebound brought down by Clayton. Herrera driving right. Gets into the post, stolen away by Wilbur. Sophia Wilbur, had, what a catch and what a great pass, but Hills couldn't finish. Got her own rebound and was fouled. Late whistle, but a foul. And Hills will get two shots. Hills has four points. This is our first trip to the line. First one, no good. Second free throw is good. Wow, what a head 10 1. Delaney lost the dribble, got at the blocker. She'll push up the floor. Passes in the corner. Goes across to Pereira, her jumper banks in. 10-3 Wildwood, 4.20 to go first quarter. Wilbur off the screen, stops, back to McCracken. McCracken drives left. Benichu, down low to Hills. Hills dips in and another foul. She'll go to the line for two shots again. She was one for two on her last trip. First one's no good. Second one by Hills is also no good. So Wildwood missing some opportunities here at the line. Delaney against Wilbur. There's the Pereira. Got it to Jones. Stolen away by Wilbur. Wilbur running for Wildwood. Goes to the right or layups no good. Oh, it does fall in. Looked like it was out of her hand. It was going to be short. Got the friendly roll. It's Delaney. Stolen away by Hills. Hills goes to Wilbur. Wilbur running the three on one. Back to Hills. Layup is good. Sanaya Hills with seven to lead Wildwood, and they lead the game 14 3. Delaney driving left. Loose. And we're going to have a jump ball. That'll stay with Clayton. Angie Wilbur and Kalia Sumlin in for Wildwood. Kaya Gunther comes in for Clayton. Inbound pass stolen by Sumlin. Got it to McCracken. McCracken up the floor, passes across, and the layup is good by Cadence Oakley. 16-3 Wildwood. Blocker takes it up the right side. Stopped by Oakley. Goes to Ava Delaney. Delaney on the right to Simon. Stolen out of her hands by McCracken. And then Hills picks up the loose ball after McCracken lost it. And Angie Wilbur will reset it up for Wildwood. Sumlin on the right. 
McCracken now. Drives right. Sumlin tried to rip through, fell down, loose. McCracken picks up the loose ball, drives into the paint. Angie Wilbur for three. Got it. And the freshman can do that. She's got 30, she has 31 of them now on the season. Here's a steal, a near steal. Uh, picking it up was Pereira. Got it to Delaney. Wildwood by 16 here. Pereira driving left, stolen by McCracken. McCracken pushing, McCracken to the basket, jump stop, goes to Oakley, little jumper is short. Long rebound comes out to Hills. Hills goes to Sumlin. In the corner, Angie Wilbur, another three. No good, that's an air ball. Rebound loose on the floor. We're gonna have another jump ball possession to Wildwood. Abby Przinski will come in for Sanaya Hills. Good first quarter so far for Hills, other than the fact that she's just one for four from the line, but she's got seven points. McCracken wide open for three. Whoa, that's an air ball. She doesn't do that much. Delaney had it knocked out of her hands and out of bounds. Clayton will have it. Another defensive flick there by Sumlin. It's Clayton having trouble against this Wildwood defense. There's a steal by Sumlin right off the inbound. She'll go to the basket and her layup is good. Another timeout called here by Clayton. And they've called three just in this first quarter as Wildwood has rushed out to a 21-3 lead to start the game. And they've actually done it with a lot of balance. They've had seven players reach the score sheet already in this first quarter, led by Sanaya Hills with seven, Macy McCracken with four. 117 to go in the first. Second game of the doubleheader pits Palmyra against Wildwood in a boys game. South Jersey quarterfinal round. And as I said, Clayton's already used three timeouts in this first quarter. One seventeen to go in this opening quarter. Wildwood pressuring again. And they throw it too far and out of bounds. And the pressure pays off for Wildwood. Warriors will inbound. And we're going to try a box around play here in the corner. McCracken, she is open for three. Off the iron, no good. Long rebound taken by Alexa Hopkins. She bounces across. That's a good pass. Layup is missed, though. And the rebound saved inbounds, but into the hands of Sophia Wilbur of Wildwood. Check that, Angie Wilbur. Sophia Wilbur is on the bench at this moment in time. The crack in the basketball goes in the corner to Oakley. Oakley lobs into Abby Brzezinski, missed the layup. Rebound. And it looked like Blocker was standing on the end line when she corralled the ball, so Wildwood will have it. Angie Wilbur to McCracken for three. No good. Rebound Angie Wilbur. Shot up was blocked. Rebound battled for. Clayton has it. And here comes Blocker pushing. Blocker lobs back door. Layup is missed. Rebound. 
And we're going to have another jump ball. Possession to Clayton. 17 seconds to go in a quarter that has been dominated by Wildwood. They go out to Delaney. Delaney for three. No good long. Rebound blocker. Kicks across. Hopkins a jumper. No good. Rebound blocker again. Jump hook, no. Rebound Kalia Sumlin of Wildwood. Angie Wilbur got it up to McCracken. McCracken a deep three at the buzzer. No good. But a good quarter for Wildwood as they lead it 21 to 3 in this South Jersey Group 1 quarterfinal. The winner of this game plays sixth seeded Gateway or third seeded Palmyra. And again, if Wildwood wins the game, that game will be here on Friday at 4.30. Twenty-one three, Lady Warriors. As the lone field goal for Clayton scored by Rosalina Pereira. I'm Brian Kniff alongside Dave Perro handling the production behind the scenes. Wildwood playoff doubleheader here in the Warrior Gymnasium on Bernie McCracken and Dave Troiano Court. Wildwood will have the ball to start the second quarter. Not the only thing that didn't go right in that quarter for Wildwood was uh, Macy McCracken shooting. She uh, missed all of her three-point attempts. Many of them were wide open, and she just doesn't do that that often. Wilbur to the right, lobs into the post, and we're going to have a foul called on Hills pushing off. Clayton, the ball, pass into the post, the blocker, kicks out, jumper, is banked home by DeAndrea Simon. And now Clayton will go to a zone defense here. Maya Benichu swung into the corner, McCracken for three, short, rebound Oakley. Oakley tried to pass it across. It was tipped away. Oakley would have done better if she just went up and shot it. Hopkins pushing for Clayton. Lost the dribble and got it over to Delaney. Delaney loses the dribble. Oh, it looked like she switched pivot feet there, but the travel wasn't called. Simon with it to Delaney. Tipped away. Delaney's pass, stolen away by Oakley. Oakley to Wilbur. Wilbur driving right, and she traveled. I know, actually, they're going to have a foul. I guess the foul called, caused the travel on Blocker. In the corner to McCracken. We're going to have an illegal screen called. I believe against Maya Benichu. Hills will go out. She does have two fouls. They get it to blocker. Pushing. Goes across. Jumper is good. DeAndrea Simon, her second field goal of the period. Down low to Oakley. And we have another jump ball. Possession to Clayton. Angie Wilmer will check back in, replacing Oakley. Here's Ava Delaney. 
Got it in the corner. Jumper is good by Simon. That's six straight to start the second period for Clayton. Wilbur with it. In the corner, McCracken. Back to Sophia Wilbur. Now it's Angie Wilbur. Drives, goes to McCracken in the corner. They swing it around. Cross court to Benichu for three. That's an air ball. Long rebound to McCracken, though. Another crack at it for a while. A good extra pass there by Angie Wilbur. McCracken's three is no good. Boy, McCracken cannot get on track today from distance. Delaney passes across. Hopkins misses. The rebound by Sophia Wilbur. Wilbur dribbles around a double team. Takes it right. Kicks to, Ava, or to Maya Benichu. Over to McCracken for three. Bang! She finally got one to go. Good play by Maya Benichu. The dribble penetration and kick to the wide open shooter. Delaney, good defense there by Wildwood as Angie Wilbur comes up with the steal. Passes over to Sophia Wilbur on the right. Angie Wilbur, top of the key for three. Off the iron, no good. Rebound to Blocker. Blocker outlets. And going to the basket is Simon, and then she traveled though. Oh no, we have a foul. Excuse me. Foul goes against Sophia Wilbur. Twenty-four nine Wildwood. First one is good by Simon. She has eight of their 10. Raynell Blocker, who is averaging 18 a game, doesn't have a point yet for Clayton. Second one by Simon's no good. The ball didn't hit the rim. So it's a violation. So Sanaya Hill's back in for Maya Benichu. Wildwood by 14. High post pass to McCracken. Someone in the corner. McCracken now. Fires a three. Bang! Her second straight three. And she's in double figures with 10. Wildwood by 17. They led by as many as 18, which is what their lead was at the end of the first quarter. Delaney in the post, bad pass, stolen by McCracken. McCracken up the right, goes to Angie Wilbur, back to McCracken. Driving, pulling up in the top of the lane, her floater's no good. Rebound kept alive, great play by Sanaya Hills. No, she couldn't stay in bounds. Blocker for Clayton, gets it to Delaney. Delaney against Sophia Wilbur. Pereira, bad pass. Picked up by Angie Wilbur. Sophia Wilbur, Macy McCracken now. In the post to Hills, dips in, off the glass, and good. Got a friendly roll. Hills with nine, it's Wildwood by 19. And they have their largest lead of the game. Clayton had scored six straight earlier in the period to get back into it a little bit, but now here's another steal, and going the other way, missing the layup, though, was Sophia Wilbur. Sumlin gets it back out to Angie Wilbur. Wildwood resets. In the post, the hills again, and she traveled. Pereira checks back in for Clayton. Replaces Simon. Simon actually has eight of Clayton's ten points. 3.05 to go first half. Hopkins goes to Pereira. Pereira lost the dribble. Three bullet ball by Hopkins, no good. Long rebound to Sophia Wilbur. Lobs it up to Sanaya Hills, running the floor well, and her layup is good. 
Another timeout by Clayton. It's 31 to 10. Clayton has used four timeouts already in this first half. 31-10. So Clayton, after scoring the first six of the period, Wildwood now on a 10-1 run to really extend its lead to 21, and at this point, in control of the game. That last basket by Hills put her in double figures with 11. And one of the stories defensively for Wildwood, Raynell Blocker, who averages 17.8 points per game for Clayton, has been held scoreless so far. The second leading scorer, Jordan Jones, has not scored. She averages nine and a half. And her third leading scorer, Ava Delaney, seven and a half. She's yet to score two. The Wildwood to this point doing a great job taking Clayton's better players out of the game offensively. Alexa Hopkins goes to Pereira. She's doubled, steps through it. There's a near steal, and McCracken couldn't keep it in bounds. Wildwood has been relentless on the defensive end so far. Hopkins to inbound. Got it to Pereira. Delaney now. Pereira, Jones, turns, shoots, no good, long rebound. Sumlin came out of nowhere to take it out of everyone's hands. She'll go to the basket and her layup is good. Kalia Sumlin, often the fastest player on the floor. She beat everyone to that loose ball and then beat them all down the court. Blocker to the basket. She's fouled by Sumlin. Oh, they call this on Hills. That's going to be her third foul. So Sanaya Hills has three. Blocker will go to the line for two shots. First one's good, that's our first point of the game. So Hill's most likely on the bench for the rest of the half. She's had a good half, 11 points. Blocker's second free throw is in and out. Rebound to Maya Benichill. She flicks it up to Macy McCracken. In the corner, Angie Wilbur for three. Bang! Her second three, she's got six. It's Wildwood by 25. Pass tipped. Jones goes to the basket. No good, but a foul. It's a good foul, actually, by Sumlin. Prevented a wide open layup. Jo Jones will have to earn this at the line. You got it, Jordan. Yeah, it's just Sumlin's first foul. First free throw, no good. Jones' second foul shot is good. Thirty-six, twelve. Angie Wilbur again for three. That one's long. Rebound taken by Delaney, and Pereira has it. Got it ahead. Jones, layup is good. Benichu made a play on the ball. It was kind of unfortunate. It just took a funny bounce on her. Looked like she was in good defensive position there. McCracken driving left, shut off. Goes to Sophia Wilbur. Back door to McCracken. Turns, shoots, and is short. Rebound, outlet pass stolen by McCracken to the basket, layup, no good. And we're gonna have a foul on Sophia Wilbur. And McCracken has 10 points, but she's actually struggling with her shot today. 
This will be Jordan Jones to the line for a one and one. She has three points in the game, one for two from the line. 51 seconds to go in the half. Free throw is short. Rebound, though, goes to Delaney. Got it in the foul. I, it, you know, they're asking Kalia Sumlin to, to do an awful lot down there at about five foot two to play on to play underneath boxing out. Delaney's free throw to complete the three point play is good. 36 17, Wildwood by 19. And Wildwood wants to try to hold for one here. As they're going to run a delay here to try to take the time down. They have the possession arrow in their favor. Angie Wilbur, or Sophia Wilbur, excuse me, lobs the McCracken. Back to Maya Benichu. McCracken again. 15 seconds to go. Wildwood should be ready to go in a moment. Sophia Wilbur. 10 seconds to go. Goes through a double team. Nearly lost it. She did lose it. And Clayton will not get a shot away to end the half. Well, Wildwood a pretty good start. They lead it 36 to 17 as they outscore Clayton 15-14 in that second quarter. For Clayton, DeAndrea Simon with 10, Ava Delaney with three, Jordan Jones with three, Rosalina Pereira with two, and Raynell Blocker, the team's leading scorer with just one point. For Wildwood, they've got a lot more balance. Tania Hills with 11, Macy McCracken with 10, six for Angie Wilbur, four for Kalia Sumlin, two apiece for Sophia Wilbur and Cadence Oakley. So it's 36-17, Wildwood with the 19-point lead at the half. Back with the second half in a few minutes.
probably have to go to St. Vincent. But if St. Vincent needed overtime to beat Hyden Township last night, they were, and St. Vincent was up 14 at halftime. Hyden Township came back. Yeah.
right, back for the second half. South Jersey Group 1 girls. Quarter final. Wildwood leading Clayton 36 17. Sonia Hills with 11 points in that first half for Wildwood, but she did pick up three fouls, and Wildwood actually struggled a bit without her on the floor at the times in the half where she was on the bench. Wildwood will have the ball to start the second half with this 19-point lead. Macy McCracken has it for the Lady Warriors. Takes it to the right. Goes over to Sophia Wilbur. McCracken behind the screen for three. Blocked by Delaney. Pushing is Jones. Jones stripped from behind. It's loose on the floor. We'll have a jump ball, but Clayton will have it. Clayton inbounding, Delaney, the blocker, got away with a walk. Went right to the basket and scored. The blocker traveled when she caught the, when she went to the basket. There's a pressure by Clayton in the half court. Sophia Wilbur to McCracken, wide open for three. This one's also no good. Rebound. Oh, Hills didn't need to save that. That ball was going to go off of Clayton. Clippers will inbound. Delaney. Spins away from some pressure. Goes in the corner. Shot on the way, no good. Long rebound comes right to Delaney who misses. Jones is fouled and it's the fourth on Saniah Hills. And Wildwood's got a 17-point lead, but now their leading scorer at halftime has four fouls. First free throw by Jones is good. Looks like Wildwood's going to roll the dice and leave her in with four. Now they get a sub to the table now, but Jones' second free throw is no good, so Hills has got to play a little bit here with the four fouls. McCracken lobs back to Sophia Wilbur. Goes in the corner to Benichick. Bounce to Oakley. That's not a good pass. Out of bounds. Sumlin will come in and take Hills out. Here's Pereira. Drives goes to Blocker. Against Sumlin. Throws it away. Goes into the backcourt. And out of bounds. Wildwood will have it. Wildwood by 16, but this hasn't started well for them in the second half. They need a basket here. Sumlin with it. In the corner, Benichu. Back to Sumlin. The crack it now. Sophia Wilbur. Doubled. And Wildwood's going to call a timeout. So a little 30 second timeout, a little uneasy start for Wildwood of the second half here, even though they still have the 16 point lead. Against Anaya Hills to the bench with four fouls. She may have to sit the rest of this quarter. And Wildwood needs McCracken to make shots. I mean, she is normally a dead eye shooter. And she is really struggling today. Four field goals 
We don't keep shot attempts, but she's probably had at least 15. And many of them wide open. And they get it up high to Wilbur. Sumlin now travels. Pereira with it, going left. Delaney. Back up top to Simon, who was Clayton's leading scorer in the first half. Delaney for three, short. Rebound blocker, layup is good. And this is where Wildwood's struggling. They're going to have trouble rebounding the basketball without Hills in the game. And there's another turnover by Wildwood. Stolen back by Sumlin. We're going to have a jump ball possession to Wildwood. Just a 14-point game now. Wildwood was firmly in control of this. Looked like they were on the verge of a blowout. They were up 31-10 at one point in the first half. But Clayton's really made some inroads here. Wilbur for three, in and out. And here's Delaney pushing. Right side to Pereira. Delaney up top. Got it to block, or layup is good. Clayton coming to life. Center of the floor, Angie Wilbur. Got it to Oakley. Missed the layup. Rebound McCracken. She has it on the left. Lost her dribble in a bad spot and threw it away. Wildwood's in serious trouble here. Jumper is no good. Rebound will go to McCracken. McCracken pushing up the left. Shut off. Goes to Wilbur. Wilbur bumped and fouled. Clayton on a 7-0 run to start the second half here. Sophia Wilbur over to Angie. Goes to Benichu. To Oakley, dropped the pass, now splits the double team. Got it to Angie Wilbur. Benichu for three, short. Rebound taken by Angie Wilbur. Wildwood just needs to settle down. High post pass McCracken in the corner. Benichu a baseline drive. Oakley baseline jumper. Got it. Good set there for Wildwood. They needed that basket back up to 14 point lead. Delaney driving right. Pereira driving. Got right to the rim. Layup is good. Wildwood might want to think about going zone. Here's McCracken. Cross court to Maya Benichu in the corner to Oakley. Another jumper. No good short. Here's Pereira. Got away, might have gotten away with a walk. Warrior fans wanted it. Delaney into the post. Stolen away by McCracken. McCracken up the right. Stops at the three-point line, shoots a three. It's no good long. Rebound to Angie Wilbur. Sophia to Angie. Up top to McCracken. McCracken drives. Shut off. Leave her open for three. That's no good. Oakley the rebound. Out to Sophia Wilbur for three. That's short. Long rebound blocker. It's loose on the floor. And now we're going to have a jump ball. Possession to Clayton. Twelve point game, Clayton will have it. 2.55 to go in the third. Hopkins into the game, she has the basketball for Clayton, Alexa Hopkins. Back to Ava Delaney, Delaney down the lane, kicks out, jumper is good. Delaney's down hurt. Simon knocked down the jumper. 
and all of a sudden it's a 10-point basketball game. Pereira will come in for the injured Delaney. Walked off under her own power. The Kraken back to Benichu as Clayton pressures. Benichu in trouble. Got it up to Wilbur. Ahead to Oakley. Oakley. McCracken was open. She didn't see her in time. Down low to McCracken, and the layup is good. Good pass by Angie Wilbur. Hopkins. Lost the dribble. Got it to Pereira, going left in the corner. Hopkins for three, and it's good. Nine-point game ahead to Oakley. Shovels across to McCracken. Layup short. Rebound, Wildwood. Oakley, jumpers go. Back to a double-digit lead. Pereira for Clayton. Dribbled it off her foot. Did Simon. That's a, that should have been a backcourt violation. It should have been a backcourt violation. Simon dribbled it off her foot and then went backcourt to pick it up. Hopkins a jumper. That's an air ball. It'll go out of bounds. Yes, the ball was tipped on that play that went backcourt, but the ball went off of the Clayton player last, and then she retrieved it. High post pass McCracken at the foul line. Down low to Benichu, across to Oakley. Jumper no good. Rebound, loose, and Clayton picks it up. Running his blocker. Blocker up the left, and she's fouled by Maya Benichu. And here comes Kalia Summer. Hopkins in the corner. They lob it into Jones, or layup is good. Nine point game. Benichu in the corner. Oakley jumper, no good. Rebound brought down by Clayton. Clayton's doing a good job of having the wrong people for Wildwood shoot. Now, Oakley's not the greatest shooter. They're leaving her open. She did knock one down, knocked a couple down. Hopkins. 34 seconds to go in the quarter. Simon. Jones to the basket. Missed the layup. Rebound is on the floor. Kicked out. Jumper is going to be an air ball rebound by Abenichu. Got it to Wilbur. Wilbur up to Sumlin. Layup is good. Eleven point lead. Seven seconds to go in the period. Pereira over and it's thrown out of bounds with 1.8 to go. Wildwood by 11, 1.8 to go. They get it, the pass was thrown too far. So Clayton, a big comeback in that period. Outscoring Wildwood 16 to eight in the frame.
And it's 44-33. Game got held or skelter in that third quarter in Clayton's favor. And they outscore Wildwood 16-8. Raynell Blocker, who was held to one point in the first half, had six in the period. And a lot of it, too, is that Wildwood just simply isn't making shots right now. Macy McCracken is really struggling from the floor. Even though she has 12 points to lead all scorers, she has missed four or five wide-open looks that she normally would knock down. Wildwood will have the ball to start the fourth quarter. Hills has been on the bench. She picked up her fourth foul very early in the third period. McCracken has it for Wildwood, hands off to Sophia Wilbur. Wildwood is actually going to run his delay offense here a little bit, it looks like. Well, no, they just have McCracken stationed in the high post. Sophia Wilbur to Angie Wilbur. In the corner, McCracken. Down low, Oakley. Turns, jump hook, no. Rebound, Benichu. Kicks out to Angie Wilbur for three. Bang! Make that Sophia Wilbur on that three. That's her second basket. And that's a big one as it gets it to 14. Hopkins. Gets it back. In the post, Jones to the basket. Layup's no good. And the rebound falls loose. And McCracken is fouled now on the outlet. Oh, it looked like Jones fell right on the back of Wilbur, but nothing was called there. Wildwood got the ball anyway. Delaney looks like she's healthy enough to come back in. It's good to see for Clayton. She got injured late in that period. She'll replace Pereira. Sophia Wilbur, high post to McCracken. Swung on the right side to Oakley. Angie Wilbur trapped, throw it away. Delaney running right through the defense, got it down low, the layup is good and a foul. And Wildwood's going to roll the dice here and bring Sanaya Hills in with those four fouls. They have been a mess defensively without her in the game. Free throw is no good. Rebound McCracken. Wildwood by 12. McCracken, left side. Goes in the corner to Oakley, 16-footers, no good. Rebound, long rebound, comes out to Sophia Wilbur. Lob down low to Hills, missed the layup. Got the rebound, a lot of contact there and no foul. Hills rips another rebound. Oakley, another jumper, and it's good. Boy, give it Hills a lot of credit there. Hopkins up the left side against Maya Benichu. Right side, Delaney. Delaney driving off the glass, up off the rim, no good. Jones follows, the layup is good. Still a 12 point lead for Wildwood. Clock, clock approaching six minutes. Oakley center the floor to McCracken. Kicked over to Benichu. Bounces high to Wilbur. Down low, Oakley, baseline jumper, got it. Cadence Oakley with 10 in the game, eight in this period. Delaney driving right, shut off. Lost the dribble. Looking, looking. Got it down low to Jones, who lost it. Wildwood by 14, 5.36 to go in the fourth. Ooh, tough pass for Wilbur to handle, but she got it. Got it back to Benichu. 
Center of the floor to Hills. Got it to McCracken. Layup is good. Great press attack there by Wildwood. And it's back to a 16-point game. Driving, shooting, no good. Blocker follows, no good. And the rebound goes to Oakley. Oakley dribbles right, outlets to McCracken. Got it up the hills, hills to the basket. Missed the layup, got her own rebound and is fouled. You know, Wildwood starting to turn the tie back in its favor after Clayton had cut a 20-something point Wildwood lead down the nine in the third quarter. Wildwood now back up 16. Hill's got the first one to go. She's two for five from the line tonight. She has 12 points. 5.04 to go. Wildwood now by 17. Second free throw, Sonia Hills is good. Alexa Hopkins for Clayton to Delaney. Back to Hopkins. Hopkins open for three. Off the iron, no good. Hills the rebound for Wildwood. Got it to Sophia Wilbur. Lobs it across to McCracken. 17 foot jumper is no good. Long rebound, Hills. Layup, no good, but a foul which she has been dominant tonight. Four forty-three to go, Wildwood by 18. First one short. Kaya Gunther checks in for Clayton, number one. Second free throw by Hills. That one's also no good. And the rebound to Gunther, it's loose. Gunther got it to Delaney. Delaney trips. Loose ball is picked up by Oakley. Got it to Sumlin. Sumlin is, wow. Looked like someone may have been bumped to the floor, but they don't call a foul. She's called for traveling. Hopkins at the division line. Goes to Delaney. Delaney drives left down the lane, goes over. Layup is missed. Delaney, the rebound, missed that layup. McCracken for Wildwood, pushing left. McCracken to the basket. Layup is good. Wildwood by 20. Clayton having trouble getting it in. Hopkins lost it, but Sumlin tipped it out of bounds. Blocker to the basket, layup is good. Eighteen-point game. Sophia Wilbur with it. Three forty to go. Right side, Sumlin in the corner to Oakley. Oakley lobs in the post to Hills. Jump stop, kicks out. Swung nicely to McCracken. McCracken driving left. Layup is good. McCracken with 18. It's Wildwood by 20 with 3.23 to go. Delaney goes left. Shoots. No good. Long rebound. Wildwood has it. McCracken on the left. Lobs back out to Sophia Wilbur. Back to McCracken. Open for three. Bang! That might be the nail in Clayton's coffin. 62-39. It's 
It's another steal by Wildwood. The Kraken on the left, driving to the basket. No good on the floater. Rebound brought down by Ava Delaney of Clayton. She drives to the basket, passes across. And blocker now down the lane to the basket. No good, but a foul on Hills. That's Hills' fifth. And she gets a warm round of applause by the Wildwood faithful who really aren't doing her justice with that round of applause. She should get a standing ovation with her effort tonight. Blocker to the line for two shots. First one is good. Blocker in double figures with 10. Second one's no good. Rebound off of Wildwood and out of bounds. They get it in the blocker, turns, fires, no good. Oh, Jones looked really over the back there. Nothing was called. Wildwood now pulls the ball away anyway. Maya Benichu up to McCracken. And Wildwood's going to go into its delay offense here. Maya Benichu with us. We go inside two minutes. Angie Wilbur, a little triangle at the top. McCracken lobs back door. Oakley, little jumper. Got it. Oakley with 10 in the second half, 12 for the game. Delaney drives into the paint, blocked by McCracken, but a foul. Delaney to the line for two shots. Banks home the first. She's got four. Second one's no good. Blocker the offensive rebound. Fall away jumper is good. Oakley goes back to Benichu. Benichu throws to Sumlin. Sumlin got it to McCracken, who fumbles it. They have to bring it out. At first, it looked like Wildwood might get a layup out of it, but smartly, they bring it out. And they're going to run their delay offense here. Oakley on the right. Angie Wilbur. Picked up her dribble, got it to Oakley. Up top to McCracken. 105 to go. Wildwood putting the finishing touches on this here. And there's a foul on Clayton. Sophia Wilbur will check back in. Benichu. McCracken. Bumped and fouled. That's the sixth team foul on Clayton. And it's 64-43, Wildwood on top with 51 seconds to go. Sophia Wilbur checks back in. She has the basketball. Wildwood's best ball handler is on the floor now. Left side, Angie Wilbur. Now it's McCracken. To Maya Benichu. Clayton's not fouling, they're just playing defense here, or not intentionally fouling anyway. And now Blocker does foul Maya Benichu, who will go to the line for two shots. Oh, that's a one and one, excuse me. Benichu missed it. 
Clayton the ball, 24 seconds to go. Wildwood's going to advance here. A little dicey in that third quarter and early in the fourth, but Wildwood eventually pulled away after having a big lead early. Kraken, fans on their feet now, 10 seconds to go. And Wildwood's going to win this. Now we're going to have a foul here. Kraken's going to go to the line for a one and one. Free throw's good, she'll get another. And the second one is good. 66 43 will be your final. And Wildwood advances the South Jersey Group 1 tournament. Final point totals. As we add them up here for Clayton, they finish 18 and 9. Raynell Blocker and DeAndrea Simon each with 12. 8 for Jordan Jones, 4 for Ava Delaney, 3 for Alexa Hopkins, 2 for Rosalina Pereira. And for Wildwood, which improves to 21 and 7. Macy McCracken with 23. Sanaya Hills and Cadence Oakley each with 12. Angie Wilbur and Kalia Sumlin each with 6. 5 for Sophia Wilbur and 1 for Maya Benichu. And Wildwood will play Gateway or Palmyra, or excuse me. Yeah, uh, yes, Gateway or Palmyra in the next round. And uh, That'll be on Friday here at Wildwood High at 4.30. Boys game coming up. It's Palmyra and Wildwood. And we're going to step away for about 15 minutes or so, and we'll come back with the start of that one shortly on the Wildwood Public Schools YouTube page.
Okay, still live here at Wildwood High. Brian Kniff on the call here. Second of the girl boy playoff double header. Be the Wildwood boys. Sectional quarterfinal round game against Palmyra. Top seeded Wildwood. Palmyra the ninth seed. Palmyra coming off a 47 44 win at Audubon. And Wildwood a 58 49 winner over Kip Norcross Academy. And. Uh, this is actually a rematch of a game played last year uh, in the second round. Wildwood was a 60-48 winner over Palmyra. A little bit about this Palmyra team. They're wearing their away reds. White numbers trimmed in black. And they're led by senior forward Quentin Ives. He's a 6-4 forward. Averages 17 and a half a game and almost 10 rebounds. Reed Wells is their top outside shooter. He averages a little over 10 a game. And uh, their third leading scorer is a kid named Damon Bailey who has been scratched from the lineup tonight. We didn't get a reason why, assuming he's injured. And four, Palmyra, coached by Mike McCarron, formerly of North Catholic of the Philadelphia Catholic League. So it's Quentin Ives and Reed Wells, the two seniors in the starting lineup. Another senior, Jacob Ott at forward. And guards, Jace Jennings, a junior, Richie Butler, a sophomore. And for Wildwood, will be their usual starting lineup. Four juniors and a freshman. The lone freshman's Alex Daniel at the forward position. Harley Busham's really a guard. Kind of plays the forward position on this team as a starter. And then the three guards, Jordan Fusick, Ryan Triano, and Wildwood's leading scorer, Junior Hans. 18 a game, also averages four and a half rebounds and three assists. Alex Daniel averages 11.2 a game and five rebounds. Jordan Fusick, their top three point shooter. He's averaging 10.3 a game. Wildwood is undersized in this game. They're undersized in most of their games. And we'll see what they do against this Palmyra team. Three officials for the game. It's Rob Murtha, Lance Bailey, Doug Hiltner. So good crowd on hand for this second round game. And the winner of this game will take on either Burlington City or Salem in the semifinal round. If Wildwood wins it, that game will be here. If Palmyra wins, the game will be at either Burlington City or Salem. So here we go, second round game. Failed to mention Wildwood, of course, coached by Scott McCracken. Warriors in white moving from left to right. Alex Daniel for Wildwood. Quentin Ives for Palmyra. Tip is, is going to go over to Palmyra, I believe. As uh, Hans couldn't keep it in bounds. Butler against Troiano. Wildwood comes out and man the man. They go to Jennings. Jennings bounces to Wells. Wells picked up by Hans. Now it's Butler against Troiano. Butler went backcourt with it off the pressure, and Wildwood will have it. Palmyra starts in a 2-3 zone. Hans left side to Fusick. In the corner to Daniel, back to Fusick. Troiano fakes, steps in, goes to Daniel at the foul line area, back to Troiano. Takes it right, kicks out to Hans, fakes a three, drives. Bad pass, but Daniel's able to pick it up. In the corner now, Hans for three, no good. And the rebound is brought down by Jace Jennings of Palmyra. Butler against Troiano. Goes to Wells. Jennings to Ives. 
Hot. Jennings to Ives. Palmyra being patient. Jennings kicks it out. Butler for three. Off the iron, no good. Rebound, Junior Hans. Triano with it. They get it to Fusick. Out to Triano. Fusick again. Now it's Triano. Palmyra will want to keep this game low scoring. Daniel in the corner, 17 footers way short. Long rebound though, comes out to Hans. Wildwood will reset. Triano fakes a three, gets into the lane, flips it over to Hans. Found a seam, no good but a foul. Don't go to the line for two shots. And Hans is upset with himself. He thought he should have converted that and had a chance for a three point play, but he will go to the line. No score, 6.03 to go first quarter. First one's in and out. Hans has had a good year at the free throw line, shooting 78%, and he goes there a lot. Second one is good. That's the first point in the game. Wildwood showing pressure here. Ives with it, and Palmyra's running two on one. Ives, we're gonna have a traveling violation. Good defense by Alex Daniel. Palmyra showing pressure here. 2-2-1 two, two, zone. Hans back to Troiano to Fusick. Troiano again to Hans. Flips it over to Fusick. And Wildwood sets up its offense. Troiano had a career high 18 points against Palmyra in that playoff win last year. Hans goes to Fusick, takes a deep three. Off the iron, no good. Rebound to Reed Wells. Wells in the corner. Here's a three. Short. Rebound, Daniel. That was Ott missing the three. Push him in the corner. High post pass to Daniel. Dips in, spins, no good. Rebound brought down by Palmyra. It's a tough matchup for Daniel offensively against the 6-4 Ives. They get it to Ives in the corner. He takes a jumper that's long. Rebound, we're gonna have a foul on Palmyra. On Ott. Palmyra coaching staff not happy with that call. They probably felt that they could have just given the ball to Wildwood out of bounds. Fusick, back to Troiano, Fusick again, Troiano again, and now Hans to Daniel in the corner. He's trapped, tried to get it to Troiano, Troiano saves it, up top to Fusick. Hans fakes a deep three. This is the pace that Palmyra wanted. Daniel in the corner, back to Hans. Fusick in the corner, Hans again. While we're trying to flood one side of the zone there. Here's Hans. Push him in the corner. Now here comes Fusick, but they can't get him free. Down low to Bush him. Up top to Hans. No field goals yet. And we're halfway through the first quarter. Hans in the corner. Troiano, high post to Daniel, down low to Busham, rejected out of bounds by Reed Wells. <laughs> Troiano to inbound. Busham fakes a three, goes to Hans, back to Busham. Lost the dribble, but Wildwood will reset. Fusick. Hans. Fusick again. 
In the corner to Daniel. Down low to Busham. Ball fake, jump hook, no, wild shot. Ives the rebound. Here's Wells. Got it to Ives. In the lane, no good comes off. Good set play by Palmyra though. Outlet pass nearly stolen by Wells, but he's out of bounds. Anthony Freeman will come in for Wildwood. Busham will go to the bench. 1-0 Wildwood. 3-10 to go first quarter. Hans, left side. In the corner to Fusick. Back to Hans. Triano dribble penetrates. Hans fakes a deep three. And now here's Hans again. Triano. Freeman. Fusick. Deep three. And rattles it home. Good patience on that set by Wildwood. Here's Ives pushing. Lost the dribble. Got it in the corner to Jennings. Now Butler. Butler drives right. Down low to Ives. Kicks across. Jumper by Ott is no good. Good box out by Alex Daniel on the weak side. Fusick. Hans. Deep right wing three. No good. Rebound. Brought down. And we're going to have a jump ball. Good play by Troiano. Mistake by Wells to bring that ball down to his waist instead of keeping it under his chin. Four nothing Wildwood. They get it to Hans, lay up, got the friendly bounce. Six nothing Wildwood. Jennings throws it up to Butler. Butler a baseline drive, passes across to Ives, lay up is good. Here's Hans, middle of the floor, nearly lost it as he fell down. But it goes back to Wildwood. High post to Freeman. Fusick, another deep three. Off the iron, no good. Rebound brought down by Wells. And here's Butler with Wildwood leading 6-2. Ott gets Freeman to Ives. Butler. Ives lost it. They're going to say it goes over to Wildwood player. Must have tipped it. Brian Kniff and Luke Bazil into the game for Wildwood. Wildwood's got six players on the floor. Finally, Daniel goes in. I think Alex Daniel was told who he was guarding. Layup right off the inbound by Ott. Fusick drives left along the baseline. His floater is short. Not a good shot. And the rebound brought down by Palmyra. Here's Butler. Wildwood extending its defense. Butler, 45 seconds to go in the period. Butler against Bazil. Drives right, gets into the lane, stripped by Bazil. Kniff picks up the loose ball, takes it right. Stops, and it's tipped out of his hands and out of bounds. Freshman Josiah Robinson into the game. And he's a good prospect. Good year as a freshman off the bench for Palmyra. 28 seconds to go in the period. We'll see if Wildwood holds for one. Twenty seconds to go. Brazil to Kniff in the corner. Back to Hans, nearly threw it away. Fusick, corner three, short. Rebound's going to go off of Palmyra, oh, off of Wildwood and out of bounds, excuse me. Go foul, go foul, go foul. 
They get it to Ott. Ott from three-quarter court, no good. At the end of one quarter, it's Wildwood six and Palmyra four. Yeah, just two field goals for each team. in that first quarter. Winner moves on to play Burlington City or Salem. And Right now, it's a low-scoring game, which definitely favors Palmyra. Wildwood was hoping to get the game up and down a little bit. Palmyra tends to play low-scoring games. They won their opening round game 47-44 over Audubon. But Wildwood's, Wildwood's won games in different ways. They've won some high-scoring games. Just last week, they won a relatively low-scoring game over Washington Township, 49-45. Be Palmyra ball to start the second quarter. And it's Jennings to Robinson. Robinson goes right, goes in the corner, wells a deep three, long. The ball goes off of Ives and out of bounds. Pressure here by Palmyra. Fusick back to Troiano. Got it to Fusick. Drives right in the corner, Kniff. Pass was tipped, but Troiano has it. Fusick right side. Back to Troiano. Hans again. Hans. Traveled. Robinson for Palmyra. Takes it right, crosses back left. Jennings. And Robinson resets. Jennings again. Hot. To Ives. Hands off to Ott in the corner. Driving, they lob it to Ives. The layup is good. Great pass by Robinson. Hans into the lane. Wild shot. Lost it on the way up. And Palmyra can take the lead here for the first time. Here's Ott. Got it up top to Jennings. Down low to Ives. Ives gets good position. The layup is good. Palmyra by two. 6.15 to go in the first half. Troiano to Fusick. Back to Troiano. Into the paint. Foul line jumper short. Rebound to Ives. Six straight for Palmyra, even though it's been a low-scoring game. They get it to Ives, kick back out the Wells for three. Short, rebound, wow. Three Wildwood players fighting over it. No communication, and the ball trickles out of bounds. Alex Daniel back in for Wildwood. Ott in the corner. Over to Robinson. Wildwood now goes zone out of the inbound. And now they rematch up. Ott. 
That looked like a double dribble there that they got away with. No good on the shot. Here's Hans running the other way for Wildwood. Goes to the basket, and the layup is good. Got a friendly roll there. Wildwood showing pressure. Wells up to Robinson. Tied at eight, five minutes to go first half. Ott goes to Wells at the left elbow. Back to Ott, takes a three. Short, rebound Ryan Triano. Got it to Fusick. Fusick to Hans. Back to Fusick. Triano. Down low, Freeman, layup, got it. What a great pass and a good catch by Freeman. The assist to Troiano, Wildwood back on top. Wells up to Ives. And we have a timeout called by Palmyra. Full timeout. It's 10-8, Wildwood. 4.28 to go in the second quarter. Wildwood leading by two after they score four. So Wildwood had a 6-2 lead. Palmyra scored six straight, and now Wildwood with four straight. And it's 10-8. Wildwood with this lead. Winner moves on to the sectional semifinal on Friday. Wildwood girls were a 66-43 winner over Clayton earlier. They move on and will play Friday at home at 4.30. Boys team trying to join them. Robinson driving right, rejected by Daniel, but a foul. And I think it's going to go against Troiano, though. And Robinson will go to the line for two. First one's good. Cy Robinson to try to tie the game for Palmyra. That one's no good. Rebound brought down by Wells, but he falls down and loses it. And Wildwood has it. Hans on the left, goes to the basket, layup, no good. Rebound, and we're going to have Freeman going over the back on Wildwood. Jennings will return to the game, replacing Ott. Palmyra to inbound, having some trouble. They finally get it in. To Robinson, who pushes up the left, got it to Ives, turns, fires, and scores. Wildwood won an offensive foul, didn't get it. Palmyra back up one. Now it's a 1 3 1 by Palmyra. They go to push him in the corner, trap, got it to Troiano, lobs it over to Hans. Hans steps in, floater in the lane, no good. Rebound by Wells. And here's Butler, who hands off to Robinson. Jennings on the left, top to Robinson. 
Jennings for three, short. Rebounds all Wildwood. Alex Daniel with it. Now it's Troiano to Hans. In the corner, Busham for three, way short. And it goes off the side of the backboard. Robinson the basketball, got it to Wells. Back to Robinson. Wells again, looking in the post, couldn't get it there. Palmyra resets. 2.42 to go in the first half, just 11-10. Points at a premium in this one. High pick and roll. They go in the corner. Butler driving, got it to Ives. Blocked by Daniel. And Wildwood has it. Triano, the Busham. To a cutting Daniel, no good. They're gonna say it's before the shot. Daniel felt the contact, flipped it up. The foul will go on Ives, and Wildwood will inbound underneath. Fusick will come in, Freeman will come out. Triano got it in the Hans. Back to a 2-3 look by Palmyra. Fusick, left side. Deep three, short. Rebound brought down by Ives. Ripped out of his hands by Daniel. Layup, no good. Rebound to Wells. Robinson got it up to Butler. Ives in the corner. To Wells. Now it's Robinson. To Butler. High post pass to Ives. Lost it, but the ball goes to Jennings. Robinson. Now Butler. Robinson again. Jennings. Knocked out of his hands by Busham. Robinson resets, drives right to the basket. We're going to have a jump ball. Good play by Alex Daniel, and Wildwood will have it. One three one look again by Palmyra. Here's Hans. Dribble penetrates, goes to Fusick, back to Hans. Troiano again, approaching one minute to go in the half. Bad pass by Busham. Here's Butler pushing. Got it to Robinson who traveled. Minute to go in the half, just 11-10 Palmyra. Both teams been very strong defensively here. Triano goes to Hans, lost the ball, but got it back in the corner to Fusick. Fusick brings it out. Ryan Triano goes right, pulls up, got it to Daniel. Daniel for three, bang! He'll make them once in a while, while would back up two. Jennings goes over to Ives. Ives along the baseline. He might have gotten away with the walk. Stolen away by Kniff. Kniff running. Kniff driving right to the basket. Layup is good. Five straight for Wildwood. 15-11. Here's Jennings. Pass. Stolen away by Hans. Ten seconds to go in the period. Hans driving through a double team and he's fouled. With seven and a half to go in the period. Seven and a half seconds that is. Hans, Hans with the basketball, six seconds to go. Goes to Troiano, 4-3, off the back iron, no good. Daniel, got it at the buzzer on the fall away from the foul line. And Wildwood finishes the half on a 7-0 spurt to take a six-point lead in a low-scoring first half, 17-11. Quinton Ives has eight of the 11 for Palmyra. For Wildwood, Alex Daniel and Jordan, Junior Hans each with five. Jordan Fusick with three. 
Brian Kniff, Anthony Freeman each with two. It's 17-11 Warriors here at the half. We'll be back with the second half in a few minutes.
All right, we are back here at Wildwood High in 17-11 Wildwood at the half. Very low scoring half, but Wildwood, they got seven straight to end the half after they were trailing 11-10. So uh, we've got some other scores out there. The Wildwood girls will play Gateway. The six-seeded Gateway Gators upset Palmyra in their game. The third seed, 38-25. So Wildwood will host Gateway on Friday at 4.30. Couple of finals in Group 3. A short-handed mainland team dealing with injuries beat Clearview 43-39 in overtime. And Ocean City was a 56-40 winner over Winslow. On the boys' side, Absagami beat West Hampton Tech 49-44 in Group 3. Here's a steal by Hans. He goes to the basket and got the foul! The ball kind of rolled along the top of the backboard, which is inbounds, and then it fell through. Well, Wildwood with its lar extends its largest lead to eight. Hans will go to the line for the free throw here. Free throws in and out, rebound the Wells. Wells will bring it up, having some trouble, got it to Butler. Butler over to Jacob Ott. Out to Quentin Ives. To Jace Jennings. Butler behind a screen, couldn't get free for a three. Ives to the basket, he traveled. Palmyra coaching staff not happy with that call. 2-2-1 two, two, zone press here. Fusick, center of the floor to Busham. Goes opposite to Hans, ball fake, gets a man in the air and lays it in. Great move by Hans and a good job by Harley Busham to look opposite against the pressure. Wildwood by 10. Here's Butler, taking it left. Spins back to his right. Nearly lost it, stolen away. And it's nearly thrown away. Now, now it's Troiano. Lobs to Fusick. Fusick for three. Bang! Timeout, Palmyra. Seven zero to end the first half. Seven zero to start the second. So it's a fourteen zero run by Wildwood. Palmyra hasn't even attempted a shot yet in this third quarter. Three turnovers on their first three possessions. It's 24-11 Wildwood. That three was Fusick's second in the game. He's got six points. And in group one, the winner of this game is going to play the winner of Burlington City, Salem. Burlington City went into the fourth quarter just a couple of moments ago with a 47-39 lead. So great finish to the first half and a great start to the second half by Wildwood. And they have a 13-point lead with 6.51 to go in the third. Palmyra to inbound. They throw it in the eyes. Robinson back in for Palmyra. Here's Ives again. Right side Jennings. Goes to the left. Back to Robinson. Ott. Kicks, threw it away. Robinson was expecting a bounce or a chest pass. Ott threw it high and over his head. Zone pressure by Palmyra. Hans has it. Troiano swings to Fusick. Steps through. Troiano, floater, no. Daniel, the offensive rebound, goes up and scores. Wildwood by 15. Ives to the right, goes back. Here's Wells for three. Got it. 
his first basket. That was really his first open look of the game. He's their best three-point shooter. Back to a 12-point game. Hans through the defense, shovels to Daniel, rejected by Ives. Ives got it to Robinson. Robinson up the right, Jennings now. Ives, jumper, got it. Go five straight by Palmyra. 10 point game. Hans on the right, in the corner to Busham. High post to Daniel, jumper is short. Rebound, goes off of Palmyra and out of bounds. Wildwood by 10. Troiano to inbound. Got it to Daniel. Hands back to Troiano. High post to Busham. Busham flips to Hans. Wildwood resets. Gets the 2 3. Troiano. Bad pass. I saw it coming all the way and got in front of Daniel and tipped it away. Robinson to the right, kicks across to Wells. Wells a deep three again, bang. Wildwood might need a timeout. It's down to a seven point lead, eight straight for Palmyra. Pass was kicked. Fusick. Driving, stops, right elbow, left elbow jumper is good. Composed move and a great pull up. Wells with it, goes to Ives, up to Jennings. Robinson now, taken out of his hands by Triano. Triano to the basket, no good. Rebound Fusick, falls to the floor, got it to Hans and timeout Wildwood. Thirty-second timeout. Triano's got a cut finger. We got to clean that up before he can stay go back in the game. Wildwood by nine. Twenty-eight, nineteen. 4.06 to go in the third. Winner goes to the sectional semifinal on Friday. Two, three by Palmyra. And now they switch to a 1-3-1. Hans with it. Wildwood has a nine point lead. They don't have to be in any hurry here even though there's a lot of game left. Hans nearly falls down but got it to Troiano. Back to Hans. In the corner to Fusick. Back to Hans again. Busham. High post. Now it's back to Hans, a deep three, short, long rebound. It's gonna come to Robinson. Robinson, stole it away by Hans. Hans center of the floor. Hans to the basket, kicks to Fusick. Daniel didn't do Hans any favors. He ran right into his path. Hans leans in, no good. Rebound, goes off of Palmyra and out of bounds. Daniel ran right to the front of the rim and brought the defender with him and Hans couldn't go to the basket. They get it into Fusick. Over to Troiano. Open for three, short. Rebound, knocked out of bounds by Wildwood. Wildwood by nine, three minutes to go, third quarter. 
while a Catholic lost the Holy Cross 60 to 46. Jennings to Ives in the corner. Back to Jennings. Ives again in the post. Wells partially blocked, but a foul. And Wells will go to the line for two shots. Two forty-three to go in the third. Wildwood by nine. They led by as many as fifteen. Wells makes the first. He has seven all in this period. Brian Kniff back in, replaces Harley Busham for Wildwood. Reed Wells, second of two free throws. He's their best pure shooter. That is good. No pressure this time by Palmyra. It'll play a 1-3-1 zone instead. Triano with it on the left. Two and a half to go. Wildwood by seven. Hans and Triano playing catch. Tri or Hans. Fusick back to Hans. Hans again holding the basketball. Flips it over to Triano. Hans again. Wildwood being very deliberate here against this 1-3-1 zone. They have a seven-point lead here late in the third. Hans, or make it Triano, rather. Hans holds. A different defense being called by Palmar. They go to a 2-3 zone, and the way that sounds, 23 fist, is that Palmar is going to trap the ball in the corner if it gets there or on the wing. Trano backs, or Hans backs away to break a five second count, got it to Daniel. Daniel dips in, throws too high for Kniff. He is able to regain it and got it to Troiano. Got it to Hans. Troiano again. 105 to go in the period. Wildwood being very deliberate here. Troiano holds. High post to Kniff. Kicks to Fusick. Now it's Triano again, inside a minute to go in the period. Fusick again. Wildwood by seven. Here's Kniff, left side to Triano. Up top to Hans. Possession arrows in Wildwood's favor. Fusick. To Hans. Hans against Robinson. Goes left, backs away to break a five-second count. Wildwood's going to call a timeout with 24 seconds to go in the third. It's going to be a 30-second timeout. And if you're Wildwood, you got to be prepared for a wrinkle defensively by Palmyra out of this timeout. They may jump, try to trap the first pass and cause a turnover. Twenty-eight, twenty-one. Wildwood, twenty-four seconds to go in the third. Both teams with three timeouts remaining. Wildwood the inbound. They get it to Daniel. Back to Troiano. Lost the dribble. Got it to Daniel, and comes back out to Fusick. 15 seconds to go in the period. Now it's Hans against Robinson. Puts the ball on the floor to break a five-second count. Takes it left. Behind the back dribble. Got it to Daniel. Daniel to the basket. Wow, a lot of contact there. No foul called. And Wildwood will have it. 4.8 to go. 
McDaniel to Troiano for three. Short, rebound brought down by Robinson, buzzer sounds. Wildwood leading by seven. They took well over two minutes off the clock on that last possession. So 28-21 Wildwood, they'll have the ball to start the third quarter. Or excuse me, the fourth quarter. Quentin Eyes with 10 points for Palmyra. Reed Wells with eight. And for Wildwood, Junior Hans with nine. Jordan Fusick, eight. Alex Daniels, seven. Yeah. 28-21, Wildwood on top as we go to the fourth. Anthony Freeman. We'll start the fourth for Wildwood. Replaces Alex Daniel. And Palmyra is in man to man here. Left side Fusick. Got it to Triano. Right side Hans. Kniff with it. Bounces to Troiano. Freeman to Kniff. Rips through, drives baseline, kicks back to Troiano, to Fusick, over to Hans. Good extra pass. Hans for three, short. Rebound brought down by Freeman. Freeman tried to bounce to Troiano, who kicks it out. Kniff for three, off the iron, no good. Rebound, Ives. Great offensive rebound by Freeman. Here's Ott. Got it to Ives at the foul line area. Kicks out, Wells for three, bang. And now it's a four point game. Wildwood was ahead by as many as 15 early in the third. Tran or, uh, Hans on the left, up top to Kniff. Right side to Troiano, to Fusick. Fusick goes left, drives, and no good but a foul. And we'll go to the line for two shots. Six thirty-nine to go. First one is good. This is Fusick's first trip to the line. Alex Daniel replaces Brian Kniff. Second one by Fusick is go. He's in double figures with 10. Ott on the left. Goes to Robinson. Takes it right. Now going left. Jennings in the corner. Robinson again, Wildwood by six. Wells, who's gotten hot in this second half. Got it to Jennings, doubled, and the pass was tipped and goes off of Triano and out of bounds. Rob Murtha, Rob Murth is pointing at Jordan Fusick, but it was off Troiano. He got the call right. Ives. Working against Daniel, reverse layup is good. That was too easy. Four point game again. Six minutes to go. Fusick on the left. Got it to Daniel. Over to Hans. Head and shoulders fake to the basket. Junior Hans, oh, what a finish. Hans at double figures with 11. Wildwood by six. Robinson 
Kicks out to Ott. Now Wells over to Jennings. Ives, baseline jumper, no good. Rebound Jennings. Layup, no good. Rebound Anthony Freeman, and he's fouled. Missed opportunity there for Palmyra. Wildwood by six, 5.25 to go in the fourth. Ryan Triano with it. Bounces left side to Junior Hans. Hans pulls up, baseline jumper, got it! Wildwood now by eight. Ives on the right. Ives drives left to create space, hands off to Robinson. Ott to Robinson, the freshman. Oh, he threw it away. Wells had cut right as Robinson threw the pass. 30-second timeout by Palmyra. Wildwood by eight, 4.50 to go. Right as Robinson released that pass, Reed Wells cut. Left the area vacated. The only person who could handle that basketball was Belzy on the sidelines over there, sitting in the front row. Much to everyone's surprise, he neither shot it nor turned it over. Wildwood by eight, 4.50 to go in the fourth quarter. Some moisture on the floor. Actually, it could be some blood. They have to bring out the trainer, and she'll clean that up. Salem falls to Burlington City. So the winner of this game will play Burlington City in the next round on Friday. Wildwood by eight with 4.50 to go. Triano to inbound. Got it to Hans, deep in the backcourt. Palmyra and man the man. Hans across the division line goes to Triano. Triano well, lost the dribble in a bad spot, got it to Daniel. To a cutting Triano, layup, no. Hans tips it up, yes! Hans with six in the period, it's Wildwood by 10. Ives takes it up the, up the right, goes to Robinson. Jennings. Got it to Wells. Robinson again. Ott gets Freeman. Oh, pass was tipped. Robinson was able to get it. Good active hands by Freeman. Robinson to the basket. Off the glass and good. Tough move. Josiah Robinson. Wildwood by eight. Inside four minutes to go. Fusick on the right. Goes to Troiano. Troiano. And might have heard the Palmyra bench say take one in the background. I think Ott may have hurt himself a little bit on the previous play. That's why they wanted to take that foul. And they'll get Butler in the game for him. Wildwood by eight with 3.44 to go. Ooh, tough risky pass in the backcourt, but Hans is able to retrieve. Fusick on the right. Goes to Freeman. To Hans on the left. Wells picks up Hans. Hans takes it to the right. And is going to bring it back out. Wildwood by eight, 315 to go. Left side, Triano against Butler. Triano takes it right, down the lane, lost it, but it goes to Hans, who shovels to Daniel. Daniel, drop step move, jump hook, short. Rebound comes out to Jennings, and he's fouled by Freeman. Oh, and Wells is down, injured for Palmyra. He comes up, Gimpy. 
He looks like he's okay. Second foul on Wildwood. Wildwood leads by eight, 3.01 to go. They throw it into Ives. Here's Wells. Robinson now. Over to Ives. Robinson again. Palmyra needs a bucket. They trail by eight, 2.45 to go. Butler goes to Ives. So a cutting Jennings, got it in a foul. Jace Jennings to cut it to a five point game. And with 2.39 left. Free throws good. Triano. Got it to Hans. Hans will dribble up, goes to Fusick. Fusick backs it away, flips it out to Hans. Two and a half to go. Wildwood by five. Fusick, a deep three, not a good shot. Triano, the rebound on the offensive end, and he's fouled. Wildwood by five, 2.23 to go. Triano to trigger the inbound. Got it to Fusick in the corner. Brings it out and goes to Hans. Hans goes over to Triano, back to Hans. Flipped it to Daniel, up top to Hans. And they're gonna foul him with 2.06 to go. And Wildwood leading by five. So the next foul by Palmyra will send Wildwood to the line. Triano to inbound, got it to Daniel. Daniel, almost stolen from behind, got it over to Freeman. A guard's got to go get the basketball from him. And finally, Jordan Fusick does, and he's fouled. And Fusick will go to the line for a one and one. So Palmyra deciding to foul early. And this is a big one and one for Jordan Fusick. Wildwood by five, 154 to go in the fourth. Free throw is good. This to make it a three possession game. Interesting, Palmyra doesn't have a third player along the lane space, doesn't matter as he makes it. Wildwood backs off the pressure. They'll pick up half-court man. 150 to go. Wildwood by seven. They get it to Robinson. Down low to Ives. Reverse layup is good. Timeout, Palmyra. And it's a full timeout. Palmyra has just one timeout remaining. It's Wildwood by five. 143 to go. Your Wildwood, that basket by Palmyra is just way too easy. One forty-three to go in the fourth. Wildwood by five. Luke Bazil is going to check in for Anthony Freeman. It's a better ball handler and a better foul shooter. Jacob Ott's in for Palmyra. Wildwood by five with 1.43 to play. Palmyra pressuring here, and they're going to bring that press up. It's a 1-2. 
one one look they get it to Fusick center of the floor to Daniel got it up to Hans Hans goes to the basket missed the layup and Palmyra nearly throws it away now they're now they're pushing the ball up the floor Ryan Troiano's down injured Jennings with it Wildwood should take a foul out to the basket and he is fouled on the pass Boy, with Wildwood with fouls to give with Troiano in the backcourt should have taken a foul they got away with it there Wow, that's a big miss of a layup there by Wildwood. And Freeman will come in for Luke Bazil. They get it into Robinson, who's fouled. And Robinson will go to the line for two. He's one for two from the line. This to cut it to a th one possession game. Oh, he misses the first. That's a big rebound. If now they put Bazil in, and he's a better shooter, but they took a good rebounder out. You need to rebound this missed free throw if it is a miss. Robinson, good. Triano to inbound, having trouble. Got it in the Hans, stolen away by Robinson. Butler, Wells for three, short. Rebound, Fusick is fouled. Great box out by Jordan Fusick. And he'll walk down and shoot a one and one. Freeman will return for Brazil. And Jordan Fusick for two shots, or for one and one. Big one and one here with Wildwood up four. It's good. This one to make it a six point game with 112 to go. Good. Robinson. That's backcourt violation. Yeah, Wells was in the air when he caught it. And the turnover on Palmyra. And Kniff and Bazil go in. Triano to inbound. Got it to Fusick. Fusick will handle it against Robinson. Fusick across the timeline, lobs to Hans. Hans got it to Fusick. Fusick through the middle, still holding, 55 seconds to go. Goes to Troiano. Troiano loses it, got it back, shoveled it to Brazil. He tipped it, and Hans has it, and he's fouled. Wow, Helder Skelter there. Hans will go to the line here. This is the last one and one for Palmyra. Our last one and one for Wildwood, I should say. It's the ninth foul on Palmyra. 45 seconds to go. Hans can make it a... That's the second time tonight that Jaser Robinson has walked up right into the face of a free throw shooter by Wildwood. Not saying anything, but just kind of some gamesmanship there. Hans for a one and one to make it a three possession game. Got the friendly roll. 41-34, 45 seconds to go. Second one is good. 
Timeout Wildwood. This is a good timeout by the Warriors. Leading by eight with 45 seconds to go. Burlington City was a 65-57 winner over Salem in the other quarterfinal on this side of the bracket. So the winner of this game will play Burlington City here on Friday. 42-34, Wildwood, 45 seconds to go. Something, something to note here for Wildwood is Wildwood actually has a foul to give. So if, uh, you know, if there's a situation that would warrant it, they do have a foul to give. Forty-two, thirty-four. Wildwood. It's been a low-scoring game throughout. It was just seventeen, eleven at halftime. Wildwood with a pair of seven-zero runs to end and then begin each half. So that fourteen-zero run put the game in their favor. They led by as many as fifteen in the third quarter. Robinson with it. Those left goes to Ives at the foul line area. Ives drives, kicks. Butler for three. That's long. Rebound to Jordan Fusick, and he is fouled. And that defensive stop there puts Wildwood in great position here with 34 seconds to go in the fourth. Fusick's first is short. That's his first free throw miss tonight. Second free throw is good. Wildwood by nine. Butler down low to Ives. Back to Butler. Robinson. And he's fouled. That's actually a good foul by Troiano. They had a foul to give with 26 seconds to go. Palmyra with just one timeout left. Wells to Ives. Ives in the paint, tied up, it's loose. Robinson has it, his pass is tipped out of bounds by Hans with 20 seconds to go. And the fans here at Wildwood sensing it now with Wildwood ahead nine with just 20 seconds on the clock. Palmyra has one timeout. Important for Wildwood not to foul here. Robinson doubled. Butler for three. And it's good. Timeout, Palmyra. Richie Butler's first field goal. It's Wildwood by six with 14 seconds to go. And you've got a critical inbound play here. Wildwood just needs to handle the ball. Handle the pressure with 14 seconds to go. Possession arrow, if a jump ball comes into play, is in Palmyra's favor. While we're trying to draw something up to get the ball inbounds. And actually, with Palmyra now out of timeouts, it actually wouldn't be the worst thing in the world for Wildwood if they got in trouble just to lob the ball into the front court, even if you turn it over. So Palmyra brings it down and scores. That's after they get the ball in bounds, that is. If Palmyra brings it down and scores, Palmyra can't stop the clock. Triano to inbound. Got it into Bazil. Bazil is fouled. And he'll go to the line for two. And Luke Bazil can pretty much end this game if he can just make one of two even. First is good. 
Freeman comes in for Kniff. That should seal the deal. Palmyra out of timeouts. Just 11.9 to go. Free throw, second one by Bazil is no good. Rebound to Jennings. Here comes Wells. Wells will go to the basket. Layup is good. Wildwood doesn't even have to inbound the ball. Triano holds it, and he won't even in oh, he does throw it at the buzzer. Doesn't matter. Wildwood wins it 44-39, and they will move on to the sectional semifinal round. And a 14-0 run that spanned late second quarter, early third was the difference for Wildwood. Palmyra did cut it to four. The Warriors end up winning it by five. So, for Palmyra, Quint Knives with 14, Reed Wells with 11, four for Josiah Robinson, three for Jace Jennings, three for Richie Butler, two for Jacob Ott. For Wildwood, Junior Hans with 17. He had eight of them in the fourth quarter. Jordan Fusick, 15. He shot uh, seven. Seven for eight from the line in the fourth quarter. Alex Daniel with seven. Brian Kniff with two. Anthony Freeman with two. Luke Bazil with one. As Wildwood wins it 44-39. And uh, we will have another doubleheader here on Friday. It'll be the Wildwood girls hosting Gateway at 4.30. The Wildwood Boys against Burlington City at six in the sectional semifinal round. So for Dave Perro and for Chris Garcia, who produced our...